<laughs> Let's get some Jerry action going in here on Almani tonight here on Time Warner Cable Channel 3. I know we'll get to it eventually. <laughs> Yay, she is. recording live and everything but uh, the tape can't pick up my feet okay I had to take off my shoes <laughs> we're gonna slow things down for you and do something that is kind of what we would call the Chicano National Anthem what was that 
Yeah, here we go with a song, beautiful song, very, very old standard. One of the very first songs that I learned to sing in Spanish, a song entitled Sabor a Mi.
Jerry Contreras. Jerry Right, that was a long lost footage of uh, Jerry at the hop. I think it was circa 1992. Yes, a round of applause. You know. And see, and we're so we're so highly tech here at Almani that we transported her from that day to here. <laughs> you can tell she hasn't changed a bit. Oh, oh yeah. This is a round of applause for Jerry, please. Yay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we love it. We love it. And I kept Kui Kui because she's so much fun to have around. <laughs> uh, she runs on batteries. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody send those cards and letters to Audrey Guzman, courtesy of Bakersfield, California. And hello Nadine, we love you. Yes, yes Nadine. Nadine. We love you, Nadine. See that? You heard all those sounds and that was not rehearsed. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's, uh, we'll start with Jerry. Jerry, tell us a little about, that was a fantastic, you, you said you didn't remember or you didn't see this footage, Jerry? I haven't seen that footage. Yeah, but you do remember the moment. I remember, right? I remember. It was the, a great time. You yeah, it was a, a good time. You got a lot of good, talented people there, some that aren't with us any longer. Some that are not with us anymore, mm. like Isaac. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I've got to have a copy of it. Well, you got it, girl. You know that, man. We take care of our own here, man. Take okay. care of our peeps here. Cool. You know how that goes. So how did you start, Jerry? Where did it all begin? Where did you grow up? Uh, what's your bank account number? Go on, tell us everything. Oh, uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> uh, I grew up in South Central. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Florence and Central Avenue. That's where I grew up. And then we moved uptown to Huntington Park. Ooh, <laughs> man, she was stepping up. <laughs> now we're moving on up. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And actually, I started singing when I was like five years old. In About I 20 years ago, yeah. No. Yeah. And, uh, but my father was very strict. He didn't want me to get involved with any kind of stuff like that. Yeah, that's not, that's not good. And uh, so the only singing I could do would be at school, St. Malachy's. I went there, and then I went to St. Matthias High School, and then Huntington Park High School. Ooh, a good Catholic girl, and then she went and got mm -hmm. corrupted. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so that's, that was where I started singing a little bit here and there and whatnot. When I started going to East LA College, I met up with some, some guys in the lounge because, of course, I didn't go to class. I went to the lounge and hung out at the lounge. That's true confessions. Folks. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so that band was That Happy Few, and they were guys that had gone to Cathedral High School and Mission High School. They're the worst ones, I yeah. mean, if you know them. Right. They were. No. I know. They were. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Roosevelt. I know about it. We heard about Cathedral. Yeah. And so then uh, from that... Um, I started, I got introduced to the band, The Village Callers. Oh, wow, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they needed a singer, and this friend of mine, uh, trumpet player, Michael Mercado, he told them, oh, call Jerry, you know, da 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 So I go and audition with my mother with me. My dad had already passed. Oh. So, okay, so uh, for you me to go, yeah. yeah, to go to an audition or anything like that, my mother had to go with me. I'm telling you, I was, what, 18, 19 years old, and I had to take my It was mother. a different time, though. It was a different mm -hmm. time. You know, if more people did that nowadays, we'd have more people doing that. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> so I auditioned with Sabor Ami, and uh, I got oh, the okay. gig. And so I worked with them for a while, and then I got bumped by the management to go and sing with the organized set. Do you remember them? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the organized set. Then I went back to the Village Callers. Mm -hmm. It was like I was a little puppet, you know, and I didn't know any better at the time. So, okay, ni modo. Okay. I boy. Well, uh, as long as I could sing, I was fine. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, for those trivia quiz people out there, the Village Callers, what was their hit? Hector. Yeah, there you go. One hit wonders, you know, as we call mm -hmm. it in those days, right? And we just had a Christmas uh, dinner, all of us. Oh, really? Yeah, we still get nice. together. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, we still get no together. reunion tour, nothing coming together? I wish we would. You should. Put I, it I wish we would. Put it on our show. We'll, we love it. We take them. Am I double? No. There you go. Um, but, um, now we uh, Vanessa can listen to you again in her crib. <laughs> <laughs> I loved her. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, from that, there was another group that evolved from the Village Callers called Poverty Train. Mm -hmm. Went on the road with them mm -hmm. all kinds of places, ha Hawaii a lot. Okay. And um, just other groups, you know, from, from the L.A. area. But what are you doing now, Jerry? What's now I'm working with a group called Blue Soul. 
Okay. And they play at a restaurant in Eagle Rock called Columbo's mm -hmm. every first and third Friday of the month. Remember, Yay. every first <laughs> and third Friday of the month. I know, I saw that I little bug. That little thing is buzzing. That little gnat. Diego, uh, thank you. And That's then um, <laughs> I'll be there New Year's Eve, too, with them. Fantastic. Yeah, Fantastic. so I work with them a lot. And occasionally with uh, the group Sabor that Rachel worked with back in the day. Yeah. I, I know Rachel keeps asking about it. Oh, it's some art. You know, doing that. Look at, they're attacking them. See, know. that's mm -hmm. that's our yeah. intern likes to eat fruit in here and throw all the fruit, the fruit peels. Point. You know. And the fly on the wall. That's it. Yeah, you're watching what's going on. So is there an address for that? Uh, for Columbus? Yeah. Okay, I don't know it off the top how, of my head. How about a it's on paper? Colorado. Okay, she's getting close. It's on Colorado in Eagle Rock between Eagle Rock Boulevard and Figueroa. Okay, now here goes the $64 million question. Do you think if we can get you over here, would you perform here for the Absolutely. people in Almani? Absolutely. Yes. Memories of Almani, you know, yeah. let me tell you. Very classic, classic. Do, 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 do. Oh. There she is, see, she's warming up. <laughs> yeah. That sounds great. Well, let's see. Who's next on our hit parade? That would be me. Oh, bless your little heart. And tell us a little bit about yourself. What's your name? My name is Rachel. <laughs> oh, she remembered her name. Rachel. That's good. Most okay, you passed your test. I'm Rachel Olmeda, but I'm Rachel Olmeda Acuna. Oh, okay. And so you got an alias now. Okay. Yes. All right, cool. But uh, I don't even know where to start. I started singing when I was probably six. Okay. Uh, I was singing in downtown LA, 6th Street, at a Pentecostal church. Wow. I was in their youth choir and their senior choir, and I learned how to sing from Sister Ola May and Sister Brown. Wow. Really? And we had uh, choir directors that were very versatile. Uh, at the same time, I was in elementary school. Uh, actually, well, let me go back. I was born in East L.A. Uh, we lived in East L.A. up until the second grade, which, which was uh, Lincoln High. Get your story straight. Yes. Okay, you have three <laughs> names, and she has two addresses. Okay. <laughs> Keep and we going. Moved uptown, we moved up to La Fuente. Oh, all right. Which there you was go. in Bassett. I went to Bassett Unified School District, and they had a wonderful music program. I played the clarinet for six years. I was in honors course. We toured to Canada, Washington, and Oregon. And so at oh, the yeah, same yeah. time, <laughs> I was singing in the church choirs. I was singing in the elementary choir. And yeah, um, you were at it, huh? I was busy. I was busy. And then... Uh, no, no, no. Uh, not to cut you out, but the Pentecostal. Okay. How's that compared to like a Catholic school or anything? You know, did they use rulers? The nuns come no, out? No, well, see, it was the church. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I did go to school there. Well, okay, with the church, uh, you know, the, how does that work out with the Pentecostals? I mean, do they get into it rocky now? Oh, they're holy rollers. Are they? They really oh, yeah. step it up, huh? Oh, yeah. They know how to worship. All right. Well, that's that's beautiful. I know because, you know, I sing with my choir over in the Catholic Church, and that's only because God forgave me already. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I can do that. But that's what I was wondering, you know, because you seem like a very exuberant kind of young lady and, you know, get into it. So what was your first band? Where, you know, you get well, I, uh, I was in church choirs, okay. church bands, I should say. And then uh, from there, I was one of my best friends over there in La Puente Bassett, uh, lived across the street from a gentleman who's here today. And his, name, his band was Soul. Oh, okay. So she tells me, oh, my friend across the street, he plays. They're looking for a singer. So I went down there. We played for a while. Um, and then from there, I went to Full House with Jerry Thayil. He used to work with us as a consultant, heard me singing, and said, come on down. So I played with them for a few years, and then I also sang background for Lydia and Ladies. I almost toured Singapore, but that didn't happen. They made me dye my hair blonde because they said they needed a token. Oh, okay. Okay. But token then, blonde, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, then I was in Full House with Jerry Theo, and then Front Page, All Points Bulletin, um, I'm thinking Sabor for a long time, and then... Uh, just sat in with other music uh, bands when their female vocalists couldn't make couldn't it. Couldn't make it, yeah. So you came on in. So you just uh, filled in the gaps. But I love those names. Front page, what was that? All, all, all points, points bulletin. bulletin. She's yeah. not pretty dangerous, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Front page, all points bulletin. And, Dead and bodies are living. Freddie Guzman is from Soul, S O L. Right. And he's with. He's the one engaged to Elma. Oh, Ooh. Who's that? Oh, no, no, he's yeah, going, he looks oh. around like, what? <laughs> I didn't know that. The first I heard of it. Uh, oh, that's and, fantastic. Uh, so from there to here, I've just been uh, always singing. I, I keep myself ready, but I'm not of the caliber of this woman because she's always with oh, yeah. She is always working her chops mm -hmm. and always working. And most of these other women, too. I haven't sang uh, with that rigor in a long time. Not to say that I wouldn't like to try in the future or haven't recently sat in with some friends for some occasions, but... Well, like I said, the offer goes, you know, if you want to come, you know, uh, practice your, hone your skills back here on our studio, we'd love to have you. 
you know, come on over and try it out. What do you guys think? Sh should we ever sing? Yeah. Yes. And, and then we'll look up what the word rigor means. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's so articulate. Okay, the next young lady down the, the wanted list. Becky. Becky Sias. Becky Sias. Let's for Becky, please. Yay, Becky. With a beautiful smile. He keeps flashing numbers at you. I know, given his time, we got seven minutes left, so we have to really pick up the pace. Well, I'm sorry. I'm, oh. I'm honored to be here with Gui Gui and Jerry and all these ladies that I don't even think I should be here. Okay, you leave. Okay, that's it. I was requested, I requested Audrey. If it wasn't for Audrey, I wouldn't be mm -hmm. here. Well, Audrey's a good Joe. Thank she's you, all right. Audrey. Is there for yes. Audrey? Yeah, she brought us all together. And AD. Yeah, she's a, she's a good egg. Oops, My sorry. sister okay. sang with the flirtations, so I don't know if you remember the flirtations. East LA Battle of the Bands. And oh, yeah. So yeah. I mm -hmm. grew up around music, Ooh, but, you know, sorry. and I love <laughs> I love my sisters out there, Nana, Esther, and Rosie. Oh. So I'm giving them a shout out. Oh, bless and I learned that um, I have an uncle, and his name is Urbano, and he was in a, a band in Chicago, an orchestra, that I never knew about. If it wasn't for Audrey, I wouldn't even know that history and that legacy. That, that it's mine. Wow. So I, I'm really no, Audrey's good, man. She's nosy, I swear. <laughs> 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 no, she was, She'll get the dirt. It, actually, it was Nadine that was inquiring <laughs> questions, asking me stuff, and and it made me know that I was going to be so I, I discovered a lot of history in my family, you know, and at that time, my tío was very sick, and and I got to, uh, and my tía, um, one of my tías sent me a picture of him in the orchestra. I had mm. two of my uncles in the orchestra, and my real father, and, and uh, he was way in the back, so, but um, he, my, my stepfather is my father, he's my father, my real father passed away. And, uh, but I'm really honored to be here. I don't really think I could say very much more, only that I sing with LRS Exposure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, there you go, see? Gary and, uh, and myself, we're, we're a team, and we've been singing and working together for, for a long time. Well, fantastic, man! What a very humble, unassuming woman, you know. So I'm not gonna say anymore. Not like Ra not like Rachel, you know. So she's just <laughs> humble. <laughs> she's like, hey, as fast you know. as I could. Yeah. Okay, and our last young lady here. Yeah. Um, they bring the microphone up, Darren. I sure will. You um, should. You're here. <laughs> yes, I think it is. Um, Jerry, 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 uh, let's see here. I got my influences from my uncle when I was a little girl. He was an, um, he had a trio, and uh, they would perform at family functions. And I knew I loved music from that point on. Uh, actually, I think he's compadres with um, Arnold Mesa, mm -hmm. and Arnold Mesa owned a, I think the Montebello Inn, mm -hmm. and uh, which is now the Paloma Room. Yeah, people keep it yeah. Exactly. Uh, from there, I think I, um, I. Went ahead and took choir in school from junior high all the way through high school. I took choir and learned a lot there, although that was more classical and it was a little different in, in their techniques. Uh, the type of singing that these girls do, or Jerry especially, I, I, I think they just take it, uh, you know, they just know what they're doing. When, when, they sing, when she sings, you could tell that she just knows all the techniques. Uh, that are a little different. Heck no! <laughs> <laughs> I know. That I, 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 I'm so used to the classical, classical thing, you know. But um, after that, um, I had decided if I didn't make it by 16 years old, I was going to just say forget it because I said I'm going to. It was 10 years ago. Yeah, right? yeah, 10 years ago. I want to make sure. I'm going to keep count. Yes, uh, and um, so I just put in the back of the back burner until I met my husband, a drummer, uh, John Trujillo. And um, he had been a, uh, in a band at the time, and um, I just would follow him like a little puppy, you know, uh, to all his jobs for <laughs> years. Uh, finally, somebody in the band uh, had um, quit, so he said, I mean, we have a job Saturday, would you want to try it? And I said, try what? And he said, try singing. I said, oh my gosh, only two rehearsals, threw me on stage, and from there, history. Um, <laughs> I think. Uh, I think the guys in the band said, let's keep her, let's keep her. And he wasn't too sure in the beginning, but then he said, all right, we'll try it. And from then on, it just, it just grew, 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 grew. And uh, uh, we went from, you know, I think the first band was a long time coming. And then it went on to a band called, uh, let's say we changed to Shy. And then we went, which at that time, uh, I was going to have a baby. So 
I met Susan Mondragon, and, and she became, you know, the singer. Right. While I was pregnant, we became really good friends. And I, I totally respect her, uh, uh, her talents. And uh, then after that, it went into, um, it went into, um, let's see, uh, one of the bands, the names changed until we finally formed a group called Asia. Okay. Asia is yeah. the band, yeah. yeah. Asia is the band that I think we felt, you know, was the one we were real, really uh, happy with. Uh, back, back, yeah. Late, late 70s, early 80s. And as a matter of fact, right now we're trying to get together for a reunion. We're hoping to, you know, put that together and come back on. But in the meantime, Satisfaction Limited uh, for six years in the 80s. And then Sangri also. And uh, let's see, from there, you know, again, bouncing around, singing with different bands. And I also get called a lot for uh, weddings, funerals, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, not necessarily that order, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I just get calls and calls, and that's how I met Becky, because Becky helped. Well, Becky's you a know? lot of help. <laughs> and, and she's, she's not, been she's really... She's not nosy like Audrey. <laughs> 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 a lot of help. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so it just evolved, and it's been 40 years. Well, so bless you. A little yeah. round of applause for this young lady. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. you know, we're going to have to bring you guys all back, because we're running out of time, but yes. I want to thank you all. You got something to announce? I want to show my po little flyer. Please. Tell me when. Now. now. Okay. <laughs> who do I show it to? See the, that young man, the beanie that's trying to hold his brains in? There you go. This is my <laughs> CD release celebration, and everybody's invited. Everybody. Yeah. And right. this is my cool mama. She's yeah. going to be part of this. Yay. There Come it is. <laughs> okay, you heard it here. I'm on it tonight. I want to thank these young ladies, all the young ladies that have been on up here. I want to thank you people. We're going into a new year. We'll see you back in 2013. Just want to remind you once again, do not drink and drive. We love you all. Uh, don't forget, we're going to see Tachita Lopez. She'll be over there at Rudy's Baja Grill uh, on the 31st. We also got Daphne Puente who's going to be over at the Conga Room. We've got a lot of people out there, so just be checking your listings because you have a lot of talented people out there that are going to be performing on New Year's Eve. Okay, we want to thank you once again. God bless. Take care. And thank you for a wonderful 2012. This is Arturo Esparza signing out for this year. El Monte tonight. Take care. Run the Vanessa clip, please. I want to make sure. I'm not screaming harder. Well, it was a gamble, and I'm so glad that I can.